yogis, Amanda here, creator of Yoga for Bigger Bodies. Today we're going to work through a new sequence that I've only been teaching the last couple weeks, but I love it. It's done on all fours. So if you have any knee issues, um, you double up with the mat or put a blanket under your knees. If you can't be on your knees at all, this might not be the best sequence for you. Um, but it, if it is, give it a try and hopefully you'll love it as much as I do. Now if you do have wrist issues, anything that's done statically, so not moving, you can come up on fists. When we move dynamically, you can double up the mat underneath your uh, wrist to give yourself a little bit more padding. Or if you have a foam wedge that you can use, you can place it under your wrist as well. That might help you out. So we're going to come to all fours. Spread your fingertips nice and wide. Place your wrists right underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And as you exhale, we're just going to come into cat. So tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, middle of the back reaches up to the ceiling. And as you inhale, lengthen, find dog. So we're just starting to warm up the spine. Exhale, round into cat. Think about a scary Halloween cat. Inhale, lengthen through dog. Dog is sometimes called cow. I just prefer to call it dog. Again, exhale one more time. Find cat. And then inhale, lift your chest, lift your tail on fine dog. Almost like you're trying to pull your chest between your upper arms. Now we're going to get a little bit fancy with it. So the next time you come into cat, we're going to exhale, start to round the back up, drop your chest down to the floor. Inhale, lift up to dog. Sorry, I screwed that up, but that's okay. You'll know where I'm going. We're going to move into cat. So we exhale, drop down, round your back up into cat. Drop it down, reach your chest up, find dog. Exhale, find a little push up, round up. And we try to try to hug the elbows back as we move through these poses. So we're sort of snaking that spine. Drop down a little bit. Firing up those arms, firing up the shoulders. Cat. Snake it down. Lead with the chest. Find dog. One more time. Snake it down. Find cat. Now we're going to reach into balancing cat. So one leg back, other arm forward. Keep the gaze down to the mat. Navel draws up and into the spine. Back foot is flexed. Lower down and switch. Lower down, switch again. Navel's drawn up and in. Lower down and switch. Lower down, two of those snaky cats and dogs. So exhale, drop it down, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, find dog. Drop it down, strong arms, round it up, find cat. One more time. Drop it down, lift up, find dog. Drop it down, lift up, round into cat. Come to that flat back, reach into balancing cat. Here we're stabilizing the spine. So nice strong back here. Lower it down, switch. Back foot is flexed. Think about tucking your shoulder into your back pocket. Thumb is up to the ceiling. Lower down. And you can keep repeating that sequence. We're just going to close it off with cat, but we're going to come up onto fingertips so we can really round through that mid back a little bit more, stretching it out. Let's inhale, reach those arms up. We're going to close it off. Exhale. Bring it down, inhale, reach it up, exhale, lower it down one more time, inhale, and exhale. So just a real short sequence today, one of my favorites to do right now on the floor when we work into that sort of snaky cat and dog, get the spine and shoulders moving in a lot of different directions, and also working on those up that upper arm strength, shoulder stability. And then our balancing cat. It's a little bit of a balance pose. Requires a strong core. Balance pose, balance work is core work. So you really got to draw that navel in. And then we're stabilizing the spine. So the spine gets a nice workout in that sequence. Throw it in with your other yoga. Do it on its own. But just do it and enjoy.